Right, it's just after three o'clock and I've finished. Thank goodness for that. I've done two full days. Well, nearly full days. Yesterday was a full day, today has been a nearly full day. And I am absolutely pooped. But yeah, I think we're getting there. A little bit of tidying up to do. I'll do that when the bluebells are finished. We're getting kind of over now. They had their best. Look at the rate of growth on the uh, hazel. Going crazy. And the dead hedge is closed. That bit there that's going to be a Dorset gate is actually uh, now a dead hedge. There's a dead, there's a Dorset gate up there and another one in that far corner beyond the uh, fixed photographic point post which is there. The gap over there is closed up, we're going to have a look at that in a minute. But uh, here we need the Dorset gate, I shall come up in the next couple of days and do that. Got the post in for it, just need to string a bit of 10 axe. I'll do it now, but I'm knackered. <laughs> so I'll have a short trip up here. There's a couple of uh, videos I want to do. But for now, we get in there. Get through there. I'll put a stake in there for post to hold this back. And I'll put a bit of 10 axe in there. But for now, I'll uh, stop the uh, the video and I'll put a bit of dead hedge in that little gap there. Let's put it here, you can see where Badger's been in and out. You can see it's been pushed up. Can't stop Badger and you can see the run they've been using. And this is two years of regrowth, one year of regrowth and look how fast it's greening out. A couple of weeks ago, there were no leaves on here, and it's growing nice and tall and straight, which is what you want. That one over there is on the edge of the cant. You can just about see a little bit of blue through there. That's another Dorset gate. This cant's a funny shape; it's sort of triangular. Did it over two years. And this bit is the oldest bit, so it's two years of regrowth. Although a couple of stems like this one, this one years. This one I meant to take out, but I didn't get to it. So we might leave him. This one will probably come out when I remove the uh, firewood. But it's not the end of the world if it doesn't come out, a bit of diversity. But you can see deer damage on here from last year when this wasn't fenced, when this was like a, a deer highway and we're going through here all the time and then heading straight up the slope and out by that oak tree so I want to walk you out and show you what we've managed all the product has gone except for a little bit on the top which I might turn into uh, bean rods there's some 10-foot bean rods there this is hedging heathers I'm going to my first, well, I'll be exhibiting, if you can call it that, at, uh, an open day, well, it's the um, open day at a place called Bonsley Wood, which is Dorset Coppers Group. I've just joined, and uh, I'm going to go and exhibit for the first time, just me and a shaving horse, and I'll take me draw knives, because I need to make some tool handles, and I'll sit up there and do that. If people want to come and talk, that's great. And if they don't, then uh, I'll have some tool handles. This is what we've done today. Didn't do any felling yesterday. What I did yesterday was uh, dead hedge and work up. You can see the dead hedge all the way up. Set bluebells in this area sadly mashed. Got to pull this lot out. I decided not to walk them all the way over to the, the pile. We'll have another pile, which will be in here. I'm going to take that out to Bonsley Wood, which is a hazel burr. I 
hopefully someone will uh, make a case to uh, have that for turning. It's no good to me. I could cut it up with a chainsaw and have it as firewood, but I think it's too good for that. I don't necessarily want any money for it. These bits of ash here is what we use for tool handles. There was a stem in there. It was leaning hard over this way. So I knocked it over. I'll come up again with a chainsaw. Cut out some more bits. I'll bring the mule back. I've taken the mule out today and cut them into 18 inch lengths, which is a nice long length, like nice, nice length to use. And all that comes out of this lumpy bumpy bit. Which is why I take the mule out, no good using that here. Through this final Dorset gate, into this area of woodland, which I haven't walked through very much. You can see where I've been through there once. Came through there, because that's the way I brought the 10x in. The 10x in. The cows were in here. The cows are friendly, but they're a lot bigger than me, and there are lots of them. And they go through phases of running about, which makes me a little bit leery. There they are, they followed the van up. Just got the van up this afternoon. Got it stuck halfway this morning and to reverse it back out. So that's another year of coppicing over. I hope I'll have more in me. So Subscribed. Well, thank you very much. It's kind of nice. When I started doing these posts, I didn't think anybody much would uh, would pay any attention. But yeah, I've got some really nice comments from some really nice people. We've had a bit of conversation, and a surprising number of people seem to be looking at the uh, the videos, especially the ones up here in the wood and the firewood ones. Chainsaws, not so much. Right, thanks again, and goodbye from the copies for this year, I think.